from Palace Beach, Lindos. This is a beautiful, tranquil beach. It's now 6 p.m. at night, so the sun's gone down. Fabulous setting with just a few people on the beach bar having a few mezes as we do in Greece. So we're bringing to you our aqua moves, remember? Uh, we're going to go under the water. Imagine, you've got to choose your imagination, I'm under the water. So today we're going to do four, as we did earlier, squatting down low, and you're bringing your arms out, and you're going to speed ball from the top, and speed ball all the way down. Now when you're doing this, you're going to have to firmly clamp your feet onto the ground, okay, because it will lift you up. So squeeze down, it's really good work on the legs when you're doing it, and you're going to rotate and go as fast as you can, bringing them up just to the top of the water, and pushing them down. A lot of resistance there in the arm work for that one. Then I'm going to go down. I'm going to go into the water, lying down on the, on the floor to show you. Arms outside, out of the side. They'll be outside. You're doing crisscross legs in the water. Now just skim them across the top of the water line, your legs, and you'll use that as resistance against, against each other. So you're squeezing one against the other and lying down. Pushing, pushing. Now these aqua moves, you need a few more than you do on land. You need a little bit longer time with them to make them really kick in. So don't just try four or five. Keep it going for a minute and then change to do another exercise. And go back to them, just as you would in the gym. Go back to them to get the best out of them. And then do a couple of the others that I like, which are called pancakes. Now this one's quite hard to demo to you. You, go, you would start with your arms in the water and your legs back, like that, okay? You bring your knees in and then you would bring, drive the arms back in the water and you would take the legs out. And you're hovering all the while. You bring them in, you take them forward and take them out. So you don't ever put your legs down on the floor during that one. They're just forward and back. That one is excellent for your stomach muscles. Now I like to do about 50 of those, so one, one, is one, is count as one. One at the front, one at the back, is one rep. And I do 50 of those when I have a go. I like to tie them in with the mermaids that we did yesterday, which are the working on the obliques. From then on, we come back up and we do suspended, suspended cycling. So again, you're pushing your arms down in the water and you're cycling with your legs. Can't do both of them, obviously, but you're cycling just as you would on a normal bike. So that would be an upright bike, okay? And then you could take it, so you do a recumbent bike. If you ever go to the gym, there's different styles of bikes. One's called an upright and the other one, they're recumbent. So in the water, your legs are like that, and you're cycling round and round as you go, like that. Okay, so they're your moves for today. Um, I want you to have a go and add me on Gail Abbey TV on YouTube. Uh, email me gail at sospar.co.uk and tell me what you think.